So, so I'd like to start off my speech with a question to the audience. How many of you have ever bought a lottery ticket? Just raise your hands. So this is a little bit more than my estimate. I'd estimate about half since I knew that there would be people that legally are not allowed to buy lottery tickets. <laughs> so the idea that I'm here to present today is the mind-blowing idea that everybody in this room actually has a lottery ticket, whether they know it or not. So you could probably take a guess as to where I'm going with this, which would be into how lucky we are to be born, and the whole probability of even breathing and being a living being. Fun fact, that was a separate talk spoken at TEDx San Francisco, and Mel Robbins stated that according to scientists, the probability of being born is 1 in 400 children. And if that was your guess, sadly, you aren't correct. But before I get into my actual topic, I'm just going to provide a couple interesting fun facts. So the chances of getting struck by lightning are 1 in 700,000, getting pulverized by an asteroid is 1 in 1.6 million, dying in a shark attack is 1 in 3.7 3 million, winning the lottery is 1 in 14 million. And here's a fun one. In the United States of America, you are more likely to get killed by a cow than a shark. Watch out. Anyways, that was a bit of a light digression from my intended topic. The lottery ticket I'm talking about is this one. Your coordinates. So if we take a look at my coordinates, before myself, we have to start with my parents. They started off in India, they moved to America, where I joined them on their journey, and then now we're here at Pippin College. But to understand why your coordinates are your lottery ticket, why they're so important, we have to break it down. So primarily, your coordinates, they set up the course of your life. Your coordinates, they determine the society you'll be placed in, as well as the people you'll be surrounded with, as well as the school you go to. So much of your life is determined by coordinates. So actually, according to a study conducted by Eldis, published by UNESCO in 2007, 38.5% of Kenyan adults are illiterate. So just to illustrate that in this room, if we grouped everyone into groups of 10, approximately four of those 10 people would be unable to read or write. And the even more alarming statistic in that same case is that 31% of Kenyan adults knew that there was a literacy program, and the other 70% did not. So as I continue on, I want to bring up a quote. So I would say that I'm defined by luck, and I think almost anyone who's successful has to start by saying they were lucky. Eric Schmidt. This quote really rings true in the topic that I'm speaking about because of how lucky we truly are to all be sitting in this room, to be with a loving family, to be lucky, to be alive, and be thankful for our lives. So along on that line, I'd like to paint a picture of two different stories of luck. Myself in North America and a 14-year-old boy named Gift in South Sudan. So I'll start off with Gift. Gift is a 14-year-old South Sudanese boy who actually had to flee to the Demo Democratic Republic of Congo due to war threats at his home country. And after all that, he learned French, he studied alone, he invented his own solar-powered land to study in the night, and he's been the top of his class for the past three years since grade five. A quote from Gift is, when I grow up, I would like to become a teacher. I would like this job because I like to help those who have less knowledge. But the sad thing is, this might not be enough for poor Gift's future. See, in Gift's home country of Sudan, there are only 120 secondary schools, whereas in Ontario alone, there are 900. And just for size, Sudan is almost close to two times the size of Ontario, yet Ontario has eight times the amount of secondary schools. It's absolutely astonishing when you take a look at the numbers. And then we have my story. A 14-year-old boy who has the privilege to attend secondary and primary school without the concern of war looming over my head. The only concern being when I can hang out with my friends again. <laughs> and I think one of the, the only difference between me and Gift, another ambitious being, are our coordinates. You can only imagine how different Gift's life would be if he was born in Canada. See, the realization of the importance of our geographical luck came to me as, I, in class, in geography, and any other subject, I study inequalities, I study statistics, and I study these on paper, whereas behind these statistics, behind every number, there's a face, a story, a kid that could be younger than my age, living out these traumatic experiences, and living out these treacherous and dangerous adventures, and that's when it truly came to me about how lucky I am. Lucky my parents chose to immigrate, lucky that my parents got selected for a visa, and lucky that I have that lucky that I live in the land where opportunities are littered with plastic in the ocean. 
So I was recently in India and I noticed that there were bars upon bars upon bars on all of the apartment windows. And I was a bit confused as to why this was. So I asked my driver, how come there's so many bars on all the windows? And he answered with, because there's so many suicides due to educational stress, so they bar off all the windows of the apartments just so teenagers stop killing themselves. And I wanted to do some more research into this. And according to suicide.org, the world average of suicides per 100,000 people is 14.5. But in South India, Tamil Nadu, it is 148 per 100,000 women aged 15 to 19. That's approximately 10 times more suicides than the world average. And for, eight, for men aged 15 to 19, it's 58 per 100,000. It is absolutely astonishing and scary of how much your life is determined simply by your coordinates of where you're born. The greatest realization for me is that I have the ability, the opportunity to be standing up here giving a TED talk. Standing up here giving a TED talk for an idea that I feel is worth spreading. Your, ge your geographical luck, your coordinates, they determine so much of your life. Not only do they set the stage for your life, but they also set the glass ceiling. So I've, I've told you guys all that you have your lottery tickets. All I, all I can say is that I wish you spend your winnings wisely. Thank you.